you just see. And in today's video, I am going to do a little mini Marshalls haul. If you saw my video before this one, I went to Marshalls to kind of scope out what they had there for natural hair products. I am now in my 10th month of transitioning my hair from um, having a relaxer to my hair being in this natural state. So just rocking my curls. And um, I was just, you know, wondering what products they had there that I can kind of keep in my mind as I'm going through this journey. And then finally, once my relaxed ends are off. So I do like Marshalls. Marshalls to me is just a nice place. Um, it has all kinds of different things there at decent prices and cheaper than you would find you know, in other stores. So Marshalls is my spot. And I like to usually go on a Saturday morning when I have time and just I walk through the aisles, browse and just see what they have. So let's get into what I picked up on today. I tried to group it into little categories so it would kind of all make sense. So let's start with like fitness and health. So you all, I don't know about you, but I know for me, I have picked up some pounds y'all like, child i have picked up some weight and there's no point in talking about it you just got to do something about it so i'm in the process of doing something about it and while i was at marshall's i found some things that will help me um as i'm going on this weight loss journey so first thing is i picked up this hoodie it's a lightweight hoodie but it does have some warmth to it and i picked this up so i can wear this now that it's fall it is cooler I picked this up so that I can wear this when I go outside and take my walk slash run intervals. Um, this is just something that's lightweight but warm that I can wear as I'm working out outside. I also, which I thought this was a great find, I found these this three pack resistance bands. So I used to be a member of a gym for years, but with this whole pandemic thing that happened, I did decide to cancel my gym membership and I've just been, you know, trying to do little things at home. So I've been trying to build up equipment that I can use here to just, you know, stay in shape and, and fit. Even though I've gained some weight, y'all, I'm going to get on it. I'm on it now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm working on it now. But this is a three-pack of resistance straps. It comes in light, heavy, and light, medium, and heavy. It says it on the back. And you can wrap this around something and, like, pull. Or you can just hold it. And use the tension to do different things like your tricep and your biceps and things of that nature. So I thought that that was a really good deal for a three pack of resistance straps, $5.99. Also sticking with fitness equipment, I do planks. They're not my favorite, but they I see results with them. So I like to do planks. But the issue for me is, is that it usually causes irritation on my elbows. Um, sometimes it'll get like really irritated and pained and sometimes i'll even get like scabs and stuff just like with me having my body weight on my elbows and doing that every day so i found these yoga what does it say yoga and exercise pads but i'm definitely going to use these i don't do yoga but i will use them just like the young lady is using in the picture which is using them to support her elbows and her arms as she does planks. That's how I plan on using this. So a two-pack, and this was $7.99. Not bad. Now let's move into kind of like the food and drink items that I picked to help me with my fitness journey. I found this tea. It is a it is green tea cleanse, and it has matcha in it. And when I was reading the ingredients, the ingredients basically help you to flush some things out. Okay? Out the back door, if you know what I mean. But... This pretty much works like Lazo tea. You guys know that. What's it from TLC products? I have tried those teas and I do like the way it cleanses my body, but the issue is they're so expensive. You get like 25 packs of tea for 60 bucks or something of that nature. At least the raspberry flavor that I like. Um it's like $60 for 25 and that's, that can get a little pricey. So I found this as an alternative, and I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try. This was $6.99. I did try it one time. It's not horrible tasting at all. It's not bad. You basically have the option of using this with um, room temperature water, or you can make it like a nice warm tea. This wasn't bad, and I really don't remember <laughs> if what it did. I don't even know if it... 
Actually, yes, I do remember. This was very effective with cleansing my, my system out. So this wasn't bad. This was the last pack at Marshall's. Um, but the next time I go, I will see if they have this again because it's a nice alternative just to kind of keep your body detox. I also picked up these 180 degree snacks. That's the name of the brand. I like these. I've had these before. I've only had this kind before. This is the, what's the flavor? This is almonds and cranberry and they're basically rice cakes. Just like the little round rice cakes you see at the store. But these have almonds and cranberries in them. And then I saw this one. This is my first time trying this flavor. This is the almond, fig, and apple. How I like to eat these for a healthy snack, I'll take one of these bars. They're only 70 calories a bar. So I'll take like one of these bars, spread some peanut butter on top. And sometimes I'll put raisins on top too. And I'll just sit there and enjoy this. I like to eat them for breakfast with some tea. Um, I eat it for a snack. I even eat it as a pre-workout a pre meal. Um, when I need a little something in my, my system, that peanut butter on top really helps. These were $3.99 each. So 160 degree snacks. I like those. They're, those are pretty tasty. All right, so I think that's it for as far as like fitness and things like that go y'all i'm like sitting on my living room floor <laughs> everything's just spread out in front of me let's get into beauty so while i was there and if you saw my video you saw that i did pick up these two items for my hair i have the twisted sisters three minute moisturizing mask this has coconut avocado and almond oils inside basically you're supposed to apply it to clean hair and then leave it on for three minutes and rinse it out I also picked up this OK, that's the name of the brand, OK Black Jamaican Castor Oil Castor Oil with Hibiscus. And this is the conditioner. And it says moisture and growth. So I picked these up for my hair. I'm going to give these a try to see if it's something I can add to my regimen for my hair. So the Twisted Sisters mask was $5.99. And the conditioner was $6.99. Okay, so I did end up picking up those while I was at Marshall's. Also for beauty, so I like to bathe with these little poofs. I like the ones where they, they're a little rougher, not hard, but they're a little rougher because they, <clears throat> excuse me, really help with exfoliating the skin. So I bought a two pack and this was only $3.99 for a two pack, a two pack. And these are like the nice, ones that it really exfoliate the skin and i also recommend you using puffs to wash not just because it exfoliates your skin but it helps with your soap or your body wash lasting longer because this really helps to generate that nice lather and you don't have to use as much as your product when you're bathing yourself so i picked up this two pack of body sponges for no body poofs for $3.99 also for beauty um, I use these all the time on my feet. This just helps me to maintain my pedicures. This is, it's called a petty scrub sponge. So on one side, it's kind of harder, like an exfoliator. And then on the back of the sponge, it has, uh, what's it say? Shea butter, tea tree oils, and it smells so good. It says the benefits of this is that it cleanses, exfoliates, massages, and massages, massages, there you go, massages, <laughs> and moisturizes. So I do like this. I use this all the time. This is just my first time picking up at Marshall's. I usually pick it up at Walmart, but this was cheaper at Marshall's. It was $3.99, and Walmart usually has this for $4.99. So I do recommend this sponge. It feels so good on your feet, especially after a long day of standing on them or working out. This is such a nice treat, and I use this daily, and it just helps to keep my feet soft in between my, uh, let me get close so you guys can really see that in case you want to pick that up. It just really helps me to keep my feet smooth and soft in between pedicures. And then the last thing I got under beauty is this Colossal Mascara, and this is from Maybelline. I really like this mascara. Um, I don't wear falsies. I just rock my own lashes. But every now and then I will put on mascara. Like I don't have any on today. I don't wear it often, but when I do want to be extra glam or something like that, I do put on uh, mascara and it really just boop, 
you would think I had on falsies. And this one is really good. It it gives your, your lashes a nice boldness and it lengthens them. I like this one right here. Maybelline Colossal. This was $3.99. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's get into some footwear. Oops. Let's get into some footwear. So I picked up some slippers because you got to be comfy when you're walking around the house, y'all. So I picked up some Dear Forms. That's the name of this brand. I got them in a medium, which is fit seven and eight, seven through eight, size seven, eight. And it just feels so good. I can't wait to pop off this tag, this tag, y'all, and wear them. It's so nice and cushioned. Oh, I can't wait. This feels so nice. And I thought these were cute. And this would be perfect for the fall, winter season to wear around the house. Because I don't like to wear socks around the house but i do like to have something on my feet now this was 7.99 which i think was pretty pretty good price especially for a memory foam inside of your slippers so i picked up those i also picked up these really cute shoes by bluefish malibu i have a couple pair of little sneakers from bluefish malibu this particular one is the camel version i thought these were so cute and they were $19.99. I probably will not be wearing them right now in this fall. Definitely not in the winter. But as soon as spring comes around, your girl is going to throw these on. That's so nice to me. So cute. These are so cute. I'm a teacher, for those who don't know. And this is something that I can throw on with, you know, a nice pant and a nice looking top and wear these around the school building so that I'm comfortable throughout the day. So I picked up these. I also have a version of this shoe in leopard print and something else, but I, oh, like a, a gray pair. And I have them like in a uh, tan color as well. These are very cute and comfortable and they have a good bedding, a nice cushioned bedding on the inside. So I picked up these shoes, $19.99 by Blowfish Malibu. All right, so that's it for footwear, and I'm almost finished, you guys. I promise. We are coming to the end now. So, as far as, like, office supplies, I picked up a monthly calendar. This has 17 months, so this starts from August 2020, and it goes to December 21. So, this is perfect. I just thought this little giraffe was so cute, and it was on clearance. Girl, you know you gotta love the red ticket. So, this was $3.50 which is a great price and then it just has just what it says is a monthly calendar starting with august 2020 and it's nice and big and wide where i can jot down the things that i need to get done and mark them off as i do so i thought this was just cute a cute little planner for 350. also um i do a lot within my office and i love notepads because when I something like sparks in my mind, I need to just jot it down. And sometimes I don't want to put it officially in my notebook. Does that make sense to y'all? Like once I put it in my notebook, it's like final. It's like, okay, this is what it is. But sometimes I just need to jot down my ideas or sketch something out before I make it official by putting it in my um, notebook. <laughs> Some of y'all know what I mean. But anyway, I needed some more notepads. I thought these were cute. And I like it because I can just rip it right off and keep it moving if I need to take it with me. If it's like a list or something, these were $2.99. And it does have a magnetic um, backing. So if I wanted to, I could put it in my fridge. But I'm not. I'm going to keep it in my office. So I got some notepads. I needed some more of those because I ran out. And we're down to the last three things, y'all. So, I found this beautiful mug for my grandmother. I'm going to keep this stored away, and it's going to be one of her Christmas presents. I thought this was so beautiful. It says, Best Grandma Ever. Hope you guys can see that with the light. And on the inside, it's pink. And then it has a flower, if you guys can see that. A little flower on the inside. And this is so pretty. It's a nice size mug, too. And this was only $3.99. So I'm going to give it to my grandmother as one of her gifts. And last two items are candles. So normally I get my candles from Bath and Body Works. 
I love their candles, but girl, I don't pay $24.50 for a candle, no ma'am. So I like to wait until they have like that um, Christmas sale, that Black Friday sale, where all the candles are like, I think they go down to $9 or $10, something like that. And I usually buy a lot up so it'll last me throughout the year. So they don't have that still going just yet and I needed some more candles because I ran out and I just love the ambiance of a candle burning in my bedroom or my living room. It's just the best. So I picked up some from Marshalls. I picked up two flavors or two scents, not flavors. This one is Mojave or Mojave Suede and this one has like a nice, mm, I smell, whew. Oh, that smells so good. It's like fresh, but it has like a musk to it. If I'm if I read it to you, it says it's desert. It says faded suede, notes of faded suede, desert driftwood, and misted musk. It smells so good. And this is from the brand Colonial Candle. Okay. I like the wick on that too. It's very unique. This was seven. Mmm, that smells so nice. $7.99. They had a lot of fall scents, which I'm not really into. They had a lot of like pumpkin spice and um, apple toddies and different things like that. I'm not really into that. So it was hard to find some scents that I like because those were all very fall and leaf and harvest related. And I just wasn't feeling it. But I did like that one. And this apple one was decent. This one is the apple honey butter. Mmm, and it does smell nice. Sweet, definitely has hints of honey in there. I could smell that in that apple. And I was like, you know what, this will get me by until my Bath and Body Works comes with the good sales. So this was, this one was $9.99. $9.99, $7.99 for this candle. So this should last me because we are closely coming to... November, which is when they start to have those sales on candles, and I will load up there. All right, you guys, let me double check. I believe that's it. Yes, that is all I picked up from Marshalls. Um, let me know if you saw anything that you like. Oh, girl, I like that. I'm gonna go see if they have that, and I can pick it up too. Tell me, do you like to shop at Walmart? Well, not Walmart. Do you like to shop at? um marshall's is this also your spot or are you someone where you're like it's just too much too much going on it's too chaotic it's not my thing i know personally marshall's is the bomb for me all right ladies and gents if i have any gents out there thank you so much for joining me on today and i will get you, i will catch you guys in another video bye bye